Hello and welcome to the 63rd tutorial on the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at virtual methods. Virtual methods are functions that can be redefined in a derived class. The derived method needs to have the same return type as the base method. That is it really, that's all there is to virtual methods. So let's just end the tutorial right here. Ah, just joking. Let's just actually show you how to implement a virtual method. So, first of all we're going to create a class. I'm going to call it vehicle. And then we'll do public. And then to create a virtual method, you use the keyword virtual. Then literally afterwards, you just put well, your method. I'm going to put void print function. And what we're going to do is just do void vehicle print function. As you can see, you don't actually put the virtual keyword when you actually implement it. If you were to implement it inline like this, then you would still leave the virtual keyword there, but when you implement in the outside of the class, you don't. And I need to put the semicolon on there. So in here, it's going to do stdc out. I'm going to do print base std inline. And then the next thing for us to do is create another class, call it BMW. Make this equal to public vehicle so it inherits from the vehicle and now what we're going to do is public void print function and now let's just implement this then we'll do void bmw column column print function and in here we're going to do std c out and then what we're going to do for this is print, go for quotation marks, print BMW, STD and line. And now what we're going to do is just simply create two objects. So we're going to do vehicle, V1, and do V1.print function. Going to do bmw b1 b1 dot print function not that one the other one now if we run it we get print base and print bmw my thing yeah it just looks like regular functions one thing you got to note here before actually let's just show you something if you were to remove the keyword virtual and run it you get bill succeeded as well uh, that works as well but these are technically two individual methods then but if we put the keyword virtual back in and we change the return type to well, not int, for example, and we put return one and run it, the build failed saying uh, the return type hasn't been corrected there. But let's just ignore that for a second. Virtual function, print function has a different return type than the function it overrides. So this basically uh, makes you have the same sort of structure, it just allows you to override the functionality itself. So, because, okay, dokie, that is it really for this tutorial. Um, just make sure the return type is the same. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. Email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the recording source, source code will also be in the description. And in the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at the abstract base class. If you have any, oh, I've already asked you if you have any questions. Finally, and as usual, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a nice day.